Hi, my name is Kevin Foreman. I'm the director of the Educational Options Program here at Bucyrus Secondary School with the school district. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Virtual Learning Academy, or VLA, here at the secondary building. Uh, in our second year, the expansion of the VLA classes is something new to us, and halfway through the school year, we've got a little bit of a report as to how things went for the first semester. We had approximately 49 classes that were completed through VLA, and the Virtual Learning Academy first is an opportunity for students to take online courses, uh, most of them being elective classes, that uh, students otherwise who are sitting in study halls, for example, would not have the opportunity to take because these are some classes that uh, we simply don't have the ability to offer in the traditional fashion for a number of reasons. Uh, some of those might be uh, staffing issues. We don't have the teachers available to teach these courses. We maybe only have uh, a small number of students interested in some of the courses. So um, they, they wouldn't be offered in a traditional fashion or manner. So for those couple reasons, we have these Virtual Learning Academy elective courses that students can take online and they can work at their own pace to work through uh, electives of their interest or, or electives that they are interested in taking. Uh, this year we had elective off, uh, opportunities for 10, 11th, and 12th graders and in the end at the first semester we did have 49 students that completed courses and those classes were somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 20 to 22 different classes that they were able to take. Some of the classes that were offered were things such as forensic science, uh, criminology, anthropology, we had students taking game development. In total for the first semester we awarded 24 and a half high school credits, again those all being electives, and students earned uh, an, an average of a B or a 3.18 GPA for those courses that were successfully completed. As a part of the educational options program and a bigger effort throughout the district, we've also been able to pass Chromebook uh, laptop computers out to students who uh, are able to use these not only in the class but also in some cases take these Chromebooks home with them to be able to extend their learning opportunities and taking classes at home and working on these courses in the weekend. And we also have for some students connectivity uh, for those families who may not have internet. As we continue into the second semester, we have very comparable numbers of students in, in the 40 uh, range of students who are taking these VLA classes, again this semester, and at the end of the school year we'll be able to put all of these numbers together for the year to uh, talk a little bit more in detail about our success for year number two. As we move forward in our educational options program here for next year, which would be actually the third year of the program, we're hoping to expand on a couple different areas. One that we're really excited about is the possibility of expanding our hybrid or blended learning into the traditional classroom so that the teachers in uh, their traditional classrooms are able to take some of the online curriculum use that to enhance what they're currently doing in the classroom and also to give students another way to engage and to be interested in the topics that they're taking in the traditional fashion. Uh, so stay tuned for a lot of that information. Uh, we hope to expand not only in the VLA offerings by adding 75 to 80 new uh, courses. A lot of those are going to be in career technology education, but also, as I mentioned, to expand by offering hybrid and blended learning in the traditional classrooms for our students and teachers next school year, 2015 and 2016.